Furiosa is directed by George Miller as a follow-up to Mad Max Fury Road from 2015. I think it's important here to go ahead and acknowledge my relation to Mad Max as a saga. I have only ever seen Mad Max Fury Road, and I have some interesting feelings about that movie. You can check out that video here. But overall, I thought it was a fun movie, four out of five stars, really liked the action in that movie. So going into this one, I wanted a little bit more plot, a little bit more expansion of the, the world, and I think I get some of those things. But I'm also super conflicted about this movie. Let's talk. This movie stars Anya Taylor-Joy and Chris Hemsworth, along with many others, but those are the two primary stars I wanna talk about today. Anya Taylor-Joy has the difficult job of fulfilling Charlize Theron's Furiosa. Furiosa was probably the best thing about Fury Road for me specifically, and I think I'm not a part of minority here. I think that is ma the majority consensus about that. She really is Furiosa, and she does a great job of embodying that character and bringing her to life. So with that being said, I think this this movie and Anya Taylor-Joy had a really complex job of making that believable and work for me. And parts of this movie, I'm like, yes, I'm locked in and I'm all for it. And I don't think there's any bad performances really in this movie, but there's something off. I, I guess like it feels like it's like Diet Coke. It's not actual Coke. You know what I'm saying? Like there's something very distinctly off in my opinion about this movie. And I can't really put my finger on it and it's bugging me. But I think this is a good movie. I don't think it's a bad movie, but something in here just ain't working. And I think it's Furiosa. And it's sad because I think Anya Taylor-Joy is a fantastic actress, but there's something within her performance, though it is absolutely like trying to nail and very obviously trying to is very obviously inspired by Charlize Theron's Furiosa. There's no doubt in my mind that she sat, like Anya Taylor-Joy sat down and tried to figure out the mannerisms and all of those things, because she knows them. I think this is a directing problem. Like, I'm not sure what it is, but this this, this just feels almost YA. Not super YA, I, to, enough for me to like boldly make that claim but it doesn't feel like Fury Road for me. And I didn't want to go in to this movie expecting it and had to have it, that on its shoulders to, to do that because it's one of the best action movies ever made. I just wanted a movie to be good and I think this one's okay, but I'm a bit disappointed though I like the movie. So with all that being said, I think Anya Taylor-Joy is good as Furiosa and she does a lot of good things that you're like, that absolutely is Furiosa. But overall, I don't think it me it makes the connection that I think it intended. Now, the other conversation here is Chris Hemsworth, Dr. Dementis. Though I like his performance, and I think it's the best he's ever been and probably the best thing about this movie, it doesn't feel like it fits in a weird way. Like, it feels like it's an anthology of an anthology of a movie that another movie's based on. Does that make sense? Like, the idea that I can see Dementis living in this post-apocalyptic world, I just don't see Dementis in this movie specifically or in Mad Max at all. Like he is just very, he's very much channeling Thor Ragnarok, I think, and in some ways, just very demented, hence the name Dementis. And it's a good performance and it's entertaining, but it leaves a lot to be desired in terms of connective tissue, I think. It's very off-putting in some ways. Like. I'm very much interested in the movie he's in, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't feel like he's in the same movie as Furiosa's Anya Taylor-Joy. I mean, sorry, Anya Taylor-Joy's Furiosa, right? Like those two are not in the same thing. That being said, another thing that I don't think works in this movie is Dementis spends a lot of time with Anya Taylor-Joy's like kid version of herself, not with Anya Taylor-Joy specifically. So I don't know that you get the connective tissue and the fiber there that you really need to believe. Those two have a lot of chemistry. Though I don't think the chemistry falls flat. I just don't know that I personally bought it. And I know this feels like I'm really critiquing this hard and I'm really trying not to make it sound like it's a bad movie because it's really not, but it's just like a solid three out of five and I wish I had a little bit more to give than that. Now, the other part of this that you're very interested in is the action set pieces in George Miller. So let's talk about it. I mentioned earlier that this movie had two jobs. One, fill Furious's shoes. Not sure it quite did that. Two, be a good sequel slash prequel to Mad Max Fury Road. And though I think it has some really cool action set pieces, one in particular that I really liked and I felt like that was a better version of the movie that I wanted to see. And then just other set pieces in the movie just were extravagant. They were cool to look at, but it's 
the the, pra the lack of practical and, and leaning on CGI is, is pretty noticeable here. It feels like a, like a post Harry Potter world, like, like a post Harry Potter filmmaking world in the sense that like some of the set designs are very much heavy relying on things. And I don't think it takes away my love for the movie or my what I thought the movie was going to be. But when you compare it to one of the best looking action movies ever, dude, it's it's difficult to look at at times. And it doesn't help that the end credit scenes kind of make that even worse. So with all that being said, do I recommend this movie? Should you see it on the big screen? I think so. I, I think it's worth the price of admission, but maybe make it matinee. I would give this a three out of five. I don't love this movie, but I don't think it's a bad movie by any stretch of the imagination. George Miller gave us a movie that is entertaining, I guess, but it, it's certainly not Mad Max. Don't go into the movie thinking that. So with that being said, I hope you liked the movie more than I did. And let me know if you what your thoughts are in the movie. If you've already seen it, keep it spoiler free. I really like to hear your thoughts. And if you like this video and you want to see more, feel free to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. And I will see you guys next time. Adios.